Right, so this is my Myford ML7 and the inverter three phase setup. I've got the um, inverter just above the machine at the back here, it's uh, very easy to reach. Um, I am going to put a control panel on the side of there at some point with the um, control buttons and um, use those rather than the keypad on the inverter. And I made the board that the um, inverter secured to out of a piece of plywood and then secured that to the um, ceiling of my workshop with a couple of shelf brackets. So it's um, really nice and solid. And um, like I say, it's easy to get at being just above the machine. The motor fits nicely on the MyFed ML7 um, and looks nice being grey, almost the same colour as the lathe. I've fitted one of those um, sensors in one of the spare holes on the um, housing of the motor. Um, you can just see it there. That one goes up to the temperature gauge along with the tachometer. And there's still plenty of room for my polycarbonate cover to go over the motor. Although this um, motor is a sealed unit and there's no chance of actually getting swarf or dirt into the windings, I like to fit a cover just to keep the actual motor housing clean. And that's the cover back on. It's quick to put on with one bolt and a butterfly nut. And um, there's no back to it or underside. It's just covered in the front top and this side here so the air circulates around that motor freely. I bought a new Fenner Power Twist link belt off of eBay. I had to buy a metre in length and it's the Z10 section. And when it was um, set to the correct length for my lathe I had um, just uh, three links left over from the metre. And I have the Fenner belt on the actual counter shaft pulley drive. Um, this one's the A13 section. So it's 13 millimeter in width, and this one's 10 millimeter in width. And I have tried um, various belts on this Myford ML7 and I find the Fenner one to be the best for slipping nicely um, when the lever is in the off position so you can actually stop the spindle and leave the motor going. So on this setup with the XSY-81 inverter VFD the 1400 RPM three phase motor the 67 millimeter taper lock um, pulley on the motor, the one meter long power twist um, Fenner belt. I have a top speed on the fastest uh, pulley drive of about 1060, which is absolutely ideal for this lathe.
and that's absolutely brilliant so for most um, machining operations I can just leave it in that um, uh, fast pulley mode but I have the other pulleys as well plus I also have the back gear um, for really slow speeds so now I've set up the ML7 on the largest pulley which is the um, slowest range of speeds and I'm using the back gear and I'll show you how slow the machine can go with very high torque So that should be really excellent for screw tapping and um, threading operations. And with this VFD, I've shown it before, um, the great thing about it is you can actually go straight into reverse without actually um, having to stop the motor first. And you do that just by pressing the forward reverse switch or button here. So I'm really pleased with this uh, VFD three-phase inverter setup from Banggood. It's um, excellent um, value for money and I'm really um, pleased at what it can do. It's made the machine so much more versatile. It's going to be great for thread cutting and screw tapping now. I don't have to get my hands dirty from having to change the belts and um, I can just leave it in the first pulley setting for most machining operations. And when I get all the equipment together, I hope to show um, wiring up a separate control panel so I don't have to use the uh, control panel on the VFD.